I think it's Kaya's day for an intro. Yeah, hey, welcome back to episode 218 something. Charlie, where were you? We missed you. Uh, yeah, I was we sleeping. We nearly started without you. Yeah, I was sleeping. You made no, us feel thinking. lonely and unwanted. I'm sorry, I didn't yeah. mean to. I thought Rejected. today was Saturday. You know, even though you're often late, you're as far as I remember, you're still also the only one of us who's been there for every mainline episode, at least. Yeah, that's fucking right, them. baby. I, I think somebody on IMDb is actually keeping track of that. We have IMDb credits for the podcast, which is <laughs> that is sweet that somebody we're did that shop for it us. around to Hollywood agents when we're ready to <laughs> break into that. <laughs> well, that's what did I like you dream, to hear, Charlie. What's up? Did you dream? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, I was hoping since it's so fresh in your mind still. All right, I guess we're desperate. Jackson, hit us with your topic that you were just killing yourself to tell us about. Uh, did you guys hear Larry King died? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah, I know. yeah. I, I know we're all big fans of Larry King around here, so the, the mood is a bit low on the official podcast. Yeah. At the moment I didn't even want to sadly, do the episode. I woke up and yeah. heard the news and just crumbled. I fucking fell it's to my floor, shaking, sobbing, crying, crying, uh, weeping, if you will. I, I, Not I felt Larry, bad because, I said. I, yeah. I felt bad because part of me was like, damn, I, I really loved Larry King. I, but also uh, the other <laughs> part of me was like, thank God I have a topic this week. <laughs> thank I, you, Larry. I, <laughs> for taking one it's for not the really team. a topic. No, yeah, it is a topic. Well, it is, yeah. well, how dare you? How dare you piss on Larry's grave? That man, that man's a topic. What do you guys think of people, he... uh, people are, what? Uh, no, no, you go first. I, I've just got a fun fact <laughs> lined up about Larry King. But go, Did you know go. he's 200 years old? What are you going to fun yeah. fact about that skeleton? No, you, you, you'll find out, you'll find out, you'll find out. But continue, please. Uh, well, I forgot what I was going to say. I, I guess like, oh, what do you guys on. think are going to be the like first tweets when people find out we died? If we're still relevant at all. Who? Yeah, <laughs> it's it's good, like it's just gonna be my family members going. Who? Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> Are they not even, not even yeah. family care? Yeah. So is your mom like gonna log into your Twitter account like famous people's spouses and such? Yeah, always do like we request to inform porn. you that Jackson passed away in his sleep last night. Um, when in reality, it probably was like autoerotic asphy asphyxiation or whatever the fuck you're into. Yeah, no, she'll just announce my death via the, the most relevant pornographic meme she can find. <laughs> she'll post yep. that in all the all the newspapers. Uh, it's how it's how Jackson would have wanted to go out. Um, but my fun fact was: Did you guys know that Larry King has been married eight times? How do you even Whoa. how do you marry that many yeah, times? And his newest wife is young as fuck. I think, even though he's an ancient skeleton. Well, he's dead. Well, that's how well, I was I mean, an ancient skeleton. He he literally was like eight hundred years old, so that's a lot of lifetimes. He, no, he died what? at eighty seven. That's not even that old. Yeah. And his wife was, was sixty one. Like comparatively. I mean, it's old, but it's not like it's not like uh having nine marriages old. He had a he had a different marriage for each decade. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> How young was the youngest? Uh, I don't know. I didn't look that deep into it. I just think it's fascinating that you can get married eight times and still want to get married, I guess. Like, surely <laughs> after maybe the fourth one. Well, Jackson. Yeah, like, it, this kind of sucks. If at first you working. don't succeed, try, try again, Jackson. Come well, he on. did. He married the same one twice. Fuck yeah, he did. He loved that <laughs> he slash. He couldn't really resist. Cool. Yeah. Eight times yeah. the charm. Maybe he was just going for the record or something. But um, most of the marriages, just to just to fill out the fun fact, most of the marriages only lasted like a maximum of three years, apart from the most recent one, which stuck around for a whole uh, 20 years. Oh. So that's cool. That is cool. Oh, he finally he's found still the one. Dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, I guess he did die a married man. That's nice, I suppose. Not for her, but... He, technically, he died a super married man. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, to, to Larry King's <laughs> family and eight wives, we're, we're very sorry for your loss. Sorry, I, I have no we, comment or content. Like, yeah, he was not someone I hated, so I don't have sound effects this time. <laughs> I, I think he just kind of existed to all of us. 
Yeah, no, what, what, what did he do? Who is he? He's a late night talk show host and interviewer who's been doing that for like 30 fucking years or something. Was he nice, Andrew? Um, he was old for as long as I was alive. Yeah, he's been old for a really <laughs> yeah. long time. Yeah. So sometimes like so some, you, I, I you saw weren't surprised the, when you got the news? Yeah, I couldn't uh, believe it. Yeah, I I buckled. I went, not the Kingster. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> my life my day was ruined. I sat in a robe and just drank hot cocoa to feel better. That was all I could do. Oh. Yeah. With, with like a thermal blanket over you yeah. like a survivor <laughs> anytime anyone talked to me i just went larry 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 <laughs> <laughs> um hey we talked about that horned uh cosplayer that like was in the capital siege the cosplay siege right you guys remember mm -hmm. he he demanded organic food uh so the judge apparently agreed and wants to give him organic food now oh that's nice that's good yeah, yeah uh, he also him. said that he was duped into invading the capital. <laughs> that like, makes sense. Like, that makes sense. <laughs> so how do you have this whole persona of you're a big badass butch man with like tattoos and horns and you know, well, America Trump, I'm not like the fucking soy soy drinking liptards. And then you go on a hunger strike and you hold your breath unless they give you, uh, you know, soy double whipped lattes in prison. He's taking the power back. He's got control now. He got what he wanted. Well, apart from the jail time and such, he got food <laughs> that he wanted, I guess. But, yeah, um, but like the, doesn't that go against the whole personality? It's just a weird clash to just care think, that much about eating organic food. I think once you're in prison and like um, the fact that you're probably going to be in prison for a while is sobering you up. I think you have like post nut clarification. You realize shit. I've got to say whatever the fuck I can to minimize my jail time here. Oh, wait, so, we're being fact-checked by the chat. What happened? She went on sh shaman Jake and and Jelly has not been granted organic diet by judge, court says. So they had to... God, I no, like that the court had to uh, correct the record. Shit. Damn it. Kaya, the you're spreading actual is... misinformation. I know, sorry, damn it. Uh, okay, so I guess I, I should correct the, our other claims too that we made over the course of 200 episodes. Um, Trump Larry is King's not, not in fact dead. sent by God to destroy a pedophile cabal. QAnon is bullshit. Sorry, we misled you. Our, my condolences and apologies. It sucks being wrong. So gonna... How does it feel, Kaya? Yeah, what would yeah. you do knowing that you're yeah, wrong Yeah, it doesn't now. happen often, does it? I hate Never. it. Never. Kai, you, when you like when you are presented with facts and and <laughs> reasons I that, I, that I you are not right, my ears. yeah. So when it, when it, when you are confronted with the truth that you are not correct in a given situation, what is your reaction? Do you stick by your opinion? Oh, it depends on the situation. Like how stubborn? Well, okay. Well, how oh, stubborn I am extremely are you? stubborn, but you know. Again, it depends on the situation. If I'm arguing with a friend, sometimes yeah. I'll, I, do, I have this asshole thing that I do where even when I know I'm wrong and I would usually not have a problem apologizing or saying that I'm wrong and, and the argument there, I do this shit where just for my own amusements, I dig my heels in just to argue more, just to troll the person that I'm arguing with. So I'll take positions that I don't even believe like I'll be. I don't know, like, if I'm arguing with a super pro-life person, I'll argue the shit out of abortion just to fucking get a rise out of them. It, with, you know, for nice. no points. I don't even believe in it. And just, yeah, it's, sometimes it's just fun. <laughs> and then I have to, of course, pick up the pieces later on, like, days or months later, uh, you know, down the line, uh, when they accuse me of having opinions that I don't have. And I'm like, oh, that argument. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, dude, I was fucking with you. <laughs> I don't actually believe that. So do you, do you argue for the challenge of it? Like you want to convince them of something you don't believe in? Because obviously if you don't believe in something, it's going to be more challenging convincing someone to believe in it. So do you, I mean, is you guys, it like the challenge aspect? At some level know that feeling when somebody's really, really invested in, in an opinion that they have, so they get really riled up arguing with you. And just funny. No, couldn't possibly know that. <laughs> I hold no Sometimes opinions. Sometimes it's funny. Like no, well, I mean, that's the best course of action. Sometimes they give you shit I'll for that to too. anything. No, yeah, I don't know. That, that, that can't be tr true. I, I'm sure you and I could find something to argue about for hours and hours. All right, do it I right refuse. now. Yeah, I refuse. Why don't you guys argue right now? 
Yeah, argue over something. Prove it. Tell me a belief you have, Jackson. I I said I don't have any beliefs. I don't I don't conform to anything. All right, Kaya, let... show him why he needs to have beliefs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it, it is actually kind of conformist because it, that is rooted in you just not wanting to offend anybody. So you just have no opinions. You're like SpongeBob in that episode where he lost all Agreed. his holes and he was just squeaky smooth. You won't get any argument out of me there, Kyle. I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is going fun. great. <laughs> you're doing a really good job, Kai. I, I can hey. feel him bending. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Look, I didn't say I was good at arguing or good at arguing with literally anybody. I'm just saying that when I find somebody who is, you know, gets upset by arguing, I sometimes just do it because it's funny to me. I really have to be in the mood to argue. I don't. I usually just don't care enough about anything to. A, warrant the time invested in arguing with someone about something i just don't care makes sense it has to be something you, someone you care about for i mean yeah i get that you know none of us i don't think are on twitter arguing with random strangers and shit but people in your life it can be fun no i just slowly remove them from my life <laughs> asshole <laughs> <laughs> so what i'm Emotionally one argument away from us not talking yeah, watch out, Kaya. Hmm. All right. Um, people really wanted us to take a racism test. Do you guys wanna? <laughs> uh, I Charlie you missed it, but of... people are people wanted us to find out who the most racist is out of us. Uh. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wanna throw Did your you? hat in the ring. Um. Not really. If I, I'm down to do whatever you guys want. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll pass. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know I'm not racist, but I, I don't think it makes for a good episode. <laughs> I also don't think so either. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait okay, to well, spend 30 minutes taking it and then go, well, here's what I got. Can we take a Larry <laughs> King appreciation test instead? Yeah. Oh, I'm Googling that right now. How much do you love... Larry there King. Has to be, there, there has to be a BuzzFeed article <laughs> where if you can, Sorry, Chad, if you can I quote every line from B movie of Larry King's, and it, it, then you uh, get the Larry King award. The only relevant thing I got from googling "How much do you love Larry King?" is an article on how rich he is. How rich is he? How rich is? I, I I wouldn't think he has any money since he's going to pay fucking alimony to the eight bitches. Well, he has no alimo He has no net worth now because he's dead. But let's see. Not true. Wait, what happens when you die with your money? He, oh, well, he obviously it goes to like money. It's called a will, checks. <laughs> yeah. So, what you you genuinely do have no money once you're dead? Like, it it just you don't have a net worth. Well, yeah, you're dead, unless you like Kinda get sucks. buried with it like a pharaoh. Can you specify in your will that you want to keep your money <laughs> for yourself? <laughs> like, is there is there at all any process for keeping your money? Yeah, I wonder. I don't know. That's a good question. Wait, well, like, if, if Jeff Bezos died, I mean, if that man sold all of his shares or, like, dumped them, that company would go belly up immediately. That would ruin the economy in, like, one fell swoop. But, like, would it be legal for him to do that in his will? Just like, hey, delete well, my I, net worth. No, I, well... I don't know about deleting your net worth, but I don't think you can like immediately sell all your Amazon shares like that anyway. Larry King was worth fifty million dollars, by the way. That's pretty good. He had yeah, a good run. That's pretty good. He did. He yeah. did. Good thing he keeps it all when he goes to the kingdom of heaven, and now he can show how powerful and wealthy he is there. <laughs> <sighs> that would suck if society was just like that in heaven too. You arrive and you keep, still keep your net worth like the a super nice but homeless person is still homeless in heaven. He has to watch all the other <laughs> angels in their Ferraris. And how is this? That would suck ass. How, I mean, you're in heaven, you but you know, you're still dumpster diving. How would you guys feel if it was confirmed, actually fact, scientifically proven, that heaven is real, but it has a $100 million entry fee? <laughs> Oh, that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's, that's how it should be. <laughs> how much, how much like hell Elysium? Costs. Hell, hell is free. Oh man! I I'll tell you what I do. I, I jack our Patreon prices up. <laughs> <laughs> Time to make some money. 
makes them yeah. hay while the sun's shining, you know? God, that would, that would literally ruin my life. I would spend the rest of my waking moments trying to earn every single dollar that I could at all times throughout the day. That's it. <laughs> what? Just, Only eternity. Exactly. Like Jesus is just the Jeff Bezos of heaven. He's making money off of people arriving at the pearly gates, selling tickets. Well, well, everything is available in the kingdom of heaven, Kaya, so you're not wrong. Come on. What about multivitamins, Andrew? Are they available oh, in heaven? If they better be. I died and went to heaven, I need to tell you that ritual vitamins would be there. They'd be the first thing I see. When I walk up to the pearly gates, I'm going to look at St. Pete, and he's going to go, Hey, Andrew, we're going to high five. And I'm going to see his little like snack tray that he keeps out for everyone that he has to judge. And I'm going to go, do those happen to contain ritual vitamins? And he's going to go, of course they do. And I'm going to say, do those happen to contain sugars, GMOs, synthetic fillers, or artificial colorants? And he's going to say, of course they don't. They're ritual vitamins. They better not. And then he's going to, he's going to lean forward and he's going to look around and he's going to whisper in my ear and he's going to go, ritual isn't your typical multivitamin. It's clean, vegan, friendly formulas made with cre key nutrients that form in your body and they can be actually used with no shady extras. And then he's going to pull back and wink. And I'm going to say, well, mm. you know, St. Peter, in this elaborate analogy that's totally going to happen when I die, the thing that I personally like about ritual is that you can see inside the vitamins themselves. You can literally look at whatever's been put in there. They don't have any deceptive production tactics, and there's no, no gunk in there. You can stare at it for hours and hours, and he's going to go, that's right, Andrew, and I've decided that my judgment for you decrees that ritual vitamins will be made traceable, traceable so you'll always know where your nutrients come thanks to Ritual's one-of-a-kind visible supply chain. And also, you might be a strapping man with big strength and huge arms, and I'll, thanks, I'll say thanks, St. Peter. And he'll say, but also, they're available for women and teens. And Ritual multivitamins are scientifically developed to help support different stages of life. And I'll remember in my lifetime, while I was still roaming the earth looking for a reason to consume multivitamins, that I could get them <laughs> at 10% off and... Doing that during my first three months, continue to get that 10% off by visiting ritual.com slash official. And I'll say, well, 10% off for my first three months. That is a damn good reason to start taking multivitamins. I deserve to know what's in them. And I will with ritual. You can start ritual at ritual.com slash official for 10% off your first three months today. Thank you, St. Peter. Thanks, St. Peter. Thank you. It's yeah. good for you. Which angel heavenly. was the the patron saint of saint of money? Not not like Larry David, but which angel? One of them was like supposed <laughs> Larry to be money. David. <laughs> you saying Larry David isn't an angel? You son of a bitch. Do you, do you mean Larry King? Who the fuck is Larry David? Uh, Larry King. Sorry, I if, if Larry David dies, I'll actually give a shit. <laughs> I mean, Wait, who's, who's Larry David? He's Curb your enthusiasm. enthusiasm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I oh. heard he, that guy's a dick, actually, from he what is. I've heard. His character on the show <laughs> is not that much of an exaggeration. I've never but, heard uh, anything really about him. Uh, Charlie, to answer your... Are... Oh, ahead. sorry. No, no, you oh, go good. ahead. I was going to say, to answer your question, Charlie, St. Matthew the Apostle is the patron saint of money. Okay, thank you. Wait, is it actually one of money? Yeah. yeah. Financial is... matters. Saint of money. Mm hmm. Is there a saint of everything? Is it like uh, the Greek gods? Like, do you get a saint of of um, fertility? A saint of the harvest? There's kind a saint of. For, of um, there's a patron saint of prostitutes, Saint Nicholas, I think. Saint I think prostitutes, it? sailors, something else. Sailors. I'm not sure. <laughs> Wait, you say yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Saint Nicholas is the patron saint of prostitutes. <laughs> Wait, I thought prostitution was illegal in Christianity. Not in Christianity. No, it's, no, no, it's not illegal in Christianity. It's le illegal in like modern laws. No, 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 but prostitution also is also frowned upon in Christianity. You're not supposed yeah. to have sex until marriage. Yeah, it's frowned upon in literally every true. culture. It's, it's not surprising, but they can still have a patron saint. It doesn't Isn't mean it's there endorsed. A commandment? A commandment against uh, prostitution? Yeah, the third one. Thou shalt not prostitute. Thou body <laughs> shall belong to the Lord. If thou is prostitute, you fuckest up. Why does Saint God Nicholas... care so much about who we fuck? Hang on. St. Nicholas is the patron saint of sailors, merchants, archers, 
repentant thieves, prostitutes, children, brewers, pawnbrokers, Jesus, multitasker, unmarried people, and students. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this man is a common man. He, that covers that covers 99% of the population, of course. <laughs> he sense. wears many hats. I like that. Is, Very is accepting that, is that man. Where, is this the same, like... Is it Santa? Is that where Santa comes from? I believe so. I don't know, but I, I like that it's like archers, uh, you know, sailors, but plumbers, fuck them. No, not them. I, I'm not the patron saint of those assholes. <laughs> it, would, it would make <laughs> like, sense. Well, how if, did you pick this? It would make sense if uh, Santa Claus came from some way from St. Nicholas, because number one, he's called that as well. And number two, they're both, they would both be patron saints of children in that well, way. Well, as they've already exposed Andrew, uh, Santa was a black Turkish man. As you will remember from the bonus right, episode, right? Right, of course. Mm. Yeah, so Saint Nick there. Yeah, Saint Nick might be. Yeah, he looks very white. I don't know. He was maybe Roman. that's just the propaganda. That's oh. just what he wants you to believe. What would you guys be the patron saint of? Mm. Ooh, gamers. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Come on, Charlie. That's a, your default answer. Give me a new one. The Mix fuck it else up. would I be the patron saint of? A million Short things. People? Moisture. That doesn't make any mm. sense. Fair. Yeah, it does. Con condensation. G fuel. Yeah, this. No, you're, I'm you're condensating bitches. God flooded the earth. You would absolutely beat me as the patron saint of moisture. God beats all the saints. That's not the point. Yeah, he's you're his employee as a patron saint. I think. Yeah. Like he's mm, delegating. Do you get like, a wage? God, God yeah. doesn't want to personally deal with prostitutes, so he hired Saint Nick. So. Uh, I guess you gamers can be God is a good answer. Yeah, if you're a patron saint, you're God's, you're God's delegate. He's just like, here's the shit I don't want to do. Do it for me. Mm. So, literally everything. What does God do then? Whoa, Jackson, calm Whoa, down. Oh, yeah, hold <laughs> yeah. on now. I just, hold on. I was <laughs> getting in. smitten in his sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just lost half smitten our smokes. audience. Thanks, man. Well, I'm not going to change how I feel about God's laziness. Wow! Whoa, you hear that, God? Jesus. I think you got some smiting to do. <laughs> yeah, step your game you up took now. your fedora too, you bitch. <laughs> I found something I'm stubborn in. I'm not changing my feelings about this. Fuck God, you lazy son of a okay, bitch. Okay, see, now God, this damn. is one of those Gee, moments right, where... Wubba lubba dub dub, it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You're offending me. <laughs> See, Jackson, this is one of those moments where I would now usually pretend that I'm super religious or something and defend God against you just for the sh shits and giggles internally and I just watch you blow up in my face. It's fun. No, I still don't right. to get care. If it's What's your answer, UK, Jackson? I just, well, uh, patron, patron saint of useless hobbies. Oh, Ooh, that's good. I like that. What would be con a classified useless hobby that you'd be the saint of? Anything that I've been bullied for on the show. Oh. Lego Star Wars, <laughs> right. I'll take anything. Jackie patron just saint of Star Wars is... That's sad. You're gonna get bullied by all the other patron saints. No, the patron saint of Star Wars is George Lucas. I don't even have that. I'll just be, I'll, I'll be the patron, patron saint of Star Wars fans, I guess. <laughs> it sucks even more. <laughs> it's even worse, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Andrew? Oh, God. Uh, I'd be the patron saint of six stunts. Oh, so if, any, if anyone's cool. going to do like a cool stunt, like jump a gorge or a backflip, they bless get blessings from me first. I'd do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You have no qualifications for that. None whatsoever. I still like it. Well, do you think St. Nicholas was a child? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, then. At some point? Perhaps. Yeah, he had to be a child at some point, Andrew. Well, I've, so stepped, I've stepped on a skateboard a couple times. It's fine. True. I was there for him. He looked like a natural. Yeah, was he a prostitute, too, at some point? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> was he a like sailor? <laughs> was he a fucking... Uh, he, a he's jiggle. a child, man. He's done a lot. Yeah. What like, if... Uh, sure uh, what if, you, Andrew, you put on your first little stunt show, though, and die immediately in your first act <laughs> as patron then saint? Then I'll become a true saint. Exactly. Told about, true. Told about true. in scripture. Yeah. Was St. Nicholas an archer and a thief? Was he a brewer? <laughs> no. That I sounds don't cool. You don't, you don't you have don't, to do these don't... things to be a sa patron saint. You just got to think no they're cool. Way that you don't, there's no way that you know for sure that they weren't, though. They could have been. I can't dispute it. All right, yeah, maybe on. he was a jack of all trades, you know, sucking men off for money and then brewing them beer and 
Mm. All, right, all right, look, no, here, here, I got it. St. Gerard Magella was a, the patron saint of women, pregnant women. Oh, that's good. And he's a regular ass Italian man. Well, that just that means just that a dude who has a pregnancy pregnant. fetish. All right, then. Yeah. But was he a pregnant woman? No, there. You can be the saint of whatever you want. I choose no, six but he had more. Ex- he had more experience with pregnant women <laughs> okay. than you have no with fear. six stunts. I, I'm the six patron I watch six stunts all the time. Come on. You don't do them, though. He made women <laughs> pregnant. Oh, no, he didn't. He I, I, was a devout saint. He didn't have sex. You Bullshit. Just, whoa, you don't I'm, know I'm now the well, patron saint of hot 20 year olds, you guys. <laughs> if, if you're That's changing fine. the laws here. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. That's totally fine. Why do you think that he didn't have sex? Well, I mean, if he was a good, devout clergyman, he wouldn't. But I guess there's hypothetically no way of choose of proving it. Yeah, like like all the, the, the um, priests who didn't touch kids. Yeah, wasn't the Vatican at some point floating the idea of whether or yeah. not they should allow their members to marry and have wives because they couldn't keep their dicks in their pants and mouth fucking yeah. choir boys? I think they tried yeah, to I do that and they said no. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. I guess. I think they got shut down by that new pope they got. Whatever. All right. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I typed it, it into DuckDuckGo and immediately <laughs> lost interest. <laughs> That's too much work. Wait, is the is the pope a saint? No. No, I don't believe so. I th- no. Well, what the fuck is a saint? I mean, can yeah, can the pope? I, mean, I, I, I know, know the pope. I think has the authority to declare miracles. So like it's not an official yeah. miracle unless the pope says so. Yeah, I, I think so. Or uh, uh, somebody uh, high up in the chain, they they have the authority to declare stuff miracles. I, I know he declared some shit a miracle like, a couple years back. Some ridiculous nonsense, like I don't know, Jesus That's on a, a toast or something. That is a lot of power. How how far do you think the Pope controls? How much like actual um, what do you call it? Like how much of an impact do you think he actually has on the world? Is there like some kind of shadow organization behind the scenes that he runs or is a part of, or do you think it's just mostly like a you know decorative role? I think it's mostly just a fucking grift. <laughs> I don't want to go full a, Reddit right it, now. It, it could be a grift, and also he still has control behind the scenes. I mean, they clearly have control over, like, even law enforcement shuffling around their pedophile priests from one nation to the other so they don't get caught. They were evading the law for a very long time. You know? They have that power. Yeah, but if, if you had that much power, why would you care? Why would you? like want to um exonerate or, or protect like your low-level pedophiles that are in your ranks <laughs> because it's like <laughs> all of them you know what are you gonna do suddenly like uh, purge half of your employees there's yeah. a lot of them i mean it's it's good pr go they, they were pedophiles we got rid of them i like, guess it's it such a lame PR. use Didn't of power to Say pedophiles. <laughs> Didn't the Boy Scouts go bankrupt or something because they literally just had way too many pedophiles and lawsuits? Uh, they did file they for didn't bankruptcy, go, right? They, I think they have declared bankruptcy, yeah. Yeah, they filed for bankruptcy because of all the lawsuits. <laughs> Holy so does shit. That mean you can't be a Boy Scout anymore? I don't know. I also don't know. I mean, do you want to be? It's probably not, well, right. not the best place for a boy to be. <laughs> but can, can I be a Boy Scout now? Or is there can a he file oh, shit. Christianity into bankruptcy? What if the Pope had to declare bankruptcy? That would be fucking hysterical. <laughs> Andrew, were you a Boy Scout? Fuck no. Never. Never wanted to do that. Never, Never probably would. would. You just went out into the woods and like tied shit around, didn't you? You just learned basic survival skills. Nah, I stayed inside. Who needs them? I never left my house ever. Why would I? Stupid. Good choice. Pedophiles out there too. (laughs) I'm safe in the house. Yeah. (laughs) Why would I need survival skills if I've got running water and electricity? Mm Hmm. I I sometimes envy those um what's it called agoraphobes, the guys who have a deadly fear of leaving their homes, and like some (laughs) governments consider that an actual disability. You guys know this? Nope. Is it called I mean, agoraphobia? I'm, agoraphobia? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But I didn't know that they consider it a disability. 
I, I think, so, uh, I don't know. I, I saw at least one like article about it uh, being considered a disability. It's, I, I, I got so fucking jealous. Like this dude claims he just can't leave his house. He'll have a heart attack. And so he gets free money from the government and he can just sit inside all day eating chips and playing video games. Okay, I, where do I sign up? I don't like leaving the house. How is that any different to what we do? Yeah. Totally. It's, paid, <laughs> yeah. it's paid by the government. Yeah, he personally fucks over other people in that scenario. That's what he wants. Which is pretty I cool. I doubt he gets much at all, though. I doubt, it's like it's like a basic check. I, I, I doubt he can even survive off it. it. It's free money. It's like, what do you care how much it is? Even if it's like two bucks, thank you, give me. Yeah, but you, he has to stay aside all the time. He has to pretend to live in fear, or he does live Ooh. in fear. Yeah. Oh, that's he so awful. He imagine staying inside all the time. He literally well, imagine can't not leave having his house. the option of going out. Yeah. If anyone ever catches him, he's fucked. He literally is not we allowed st- to leave his house. We stay inside a lot because that's our choice. Our body's our choice, but like we can still go out if we wanted to. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do what he's doing Whoa. at all. I like I like quite well what we're doing right now. He could he could get those um you know uh, novelty glasses with the big nose and like a hat and just disguise himself <laughs> and leave the house. Yeah, and then he has to wear that every single time he ever goes outside. Brilliant. Lucky. Yes. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> if he meets a very pretty woman outside and he's wearing that stupid disguise. Every, everything comes at a cost. Idiot. Damn it. It's a good point, dude. Those guys for even what date. a minimum wage check. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> Why are you acting like there are there aren't any needs that would absolutely do this if they could? Plenty of people I'm not, would do I mean, this. If he's, I'm not if a he's need. putting that much, if he's putting that much work into like the sky system and still going outside, I feel like yeah. you just have more, uh, you know, more of a easy time just getting a job. Yeah, put that effort into a job, make an actual paycheck, and do something. I mean, can't they do that too? I, I think some of them, like they all have jobs that they work from home it's not like they're all bums but the the one example that i i was talking about is just the one that was collecting disability checks the others they do like i don't know, write technical manuals and well, shit for a living well the literal definition is no education employment or training so by definition a neat is not allowed to have a job oh i thought I a guess. neat was just a term for like a sexless virgin or something no it means no education I mean, employment kinda. or training so you're basically <laughs> just a leech you don't do anything. You're not currently in training. You don't have a job and you don't have a good education. Or rather, you're not in education. Aren't needs? Mm-hmm. I mean, at what points do you become a need, though? Like, what's the age uh, where it starts? Because, you know, a 19 year old is not a need just because he doesn't have a job, in my opinion. But if you're 45 and you haven't had a job ever and you still live with your mom, that's a need. No. I just, um, Hello? Yeah. <laughs> I, but I, I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you want? I'm the set, patron saint of neats. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I also don't really know what that is means. Is there a patron saint uh, of neats? Is there like an anime patron saint? <laughs> I wonder. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Why did any of us Holy choose patron shit. saint of anime? St. Francis Xavier is the patron saint of Japan. Hey, oh my God. How yeah. the fuck does that work? How do you become the patron saint of a different country? <laughs> They really, expanding. they really like them there. I was going to say the bizarre. patron saint of Neats and Anime would be Moot, the guy who founded 4chan. Holy, this Andrew, is... Andrew, there's actually... I'm pretty sure there's actually, like, a a myth in Japan that Jesus went there and died, and they've got, like, a little burial <laughs> site for him over Aww. in Japan. Like, a, a, a city of Japanese... There's, like, a Christian city, like, a city based around Christianity... And and they say that like Jesus went there when he died, and that's where his burial site is. Well, aren't there always discrepancies over where Jesus was buried and died? Aren't there always just fights and <laughs> they have no well, clear yeah. idea? Yeah, <laughs> whether or not he w- where he was born, if he was born, if he existed, yeah. a yeah, lot of turns I, out I this feel, is a very contentious. Yeah, topic. <laughs> we're, we're bringing up like the most like hotly debated thing on earth. It's like where specifically these things happened and all of this and that. Well, it didn't happen. Didn't you hear Kaya? That's fair. You got me. He disproved the existence of God. No, I proved it. I'm I'm religious now for the sake of the oh, argument. Hey, you Reddit. guys remember when Reddit, like 10 years ago or so, Reddit removed the atheism subreddit from the front page and they had a collective meltdown? They thought some religious nut took over Reddit and they got bought out or something. And now there's going to be this purge of atheists from the website. They were so pissed off. Oh, I wish I could like look up archives of this. 
they got so mad. Do you think? Do you um? Do you think Christian? Not Christianity. Sorry. Do you think religion in general is going to die? Uh, I nah. think eventually. Uh, yeah. I I, think I feel like no. more and more younger people in general. I think are not uh, religious. I think traditional forms of religion and like cultures of it will, but I don't think spiritualism will ever die. I think that's always going to be inherent in human nature. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but as for like, oh, you got to go to stuff like you got to go to church every Sunday and oh, you got to do this and that. Or even like certain holidays, I think eventually will have no meaning. But yeah, I don't I think know, the do. idea people of need to itself, pray. People are prone to worship. If it's not Jesus, they're going to worship some bitch on OnlyFans. It's just it's sad. Oh, I don't wow, think it's going away. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> profound. I didn't think of that. Thanks. Jesus was just an early adopter yeah. of OnlyFans. Jesus was the first <laughs> <I> mean, TikToker. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the first, nice. Imagine if in like future history books, they describe Jesus as the first content creator. That's going to suck. <laughs> 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 I hate that term so much, content creator. It's yeah, so yeah. much better than influencer, though. Influencer is the yuckiest it is. term. Yeah, it, it really is fucking influencer social media influencer uh, like when they add words to the beginning of it too to make to like puff up their uh resume yeah social media influencer fuck you you have an instagram and people follow you because you have a hot ass it's like get over yourself so i uh i went on the atheism subreddit just now and i wanted to see like what the biggest posts of all time were to see just you know what flies through here is incredible news and kaya you'll like this one there was a teenager who was 19 year old who killed a pedophile priest by ramming a crucifix down his throat until he died. Jesus. Wow, I love that, actually. Yeah, you're right. That is awesome. <laughs> Holy shit, look like at John Wick one. over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I thought you'd That's like that. Badass. That is pretty badass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh speaking well. of Reddit. Uh, so, you guys know that one subreddit um, called Child Free where. You know, salty, lonely, loveless, neat losers. They they like go outside and they see a happy couple with their children playing, and they get they get into the seething fit of rage, and they go on Reddit and they fucking cry about it in their little echo chamber subreddit about how children are evil. Did you guys know that they also have an animal equivalent to that? No, animal hating. There are subreddits. There are subreddits called Dog Free and Cat Free. So let me, uh, I, somebody sent me screenshots of this. I think it was Nubers, so thank you. Uh, parents on this sub, do you, make your chi- do you make sure your children avoid shows with dogs in them? Also, do you teach them to dislike dogs? What I mean is if you see a dog on a show they're watching, do you turn it off? Because I think this is where the issues all began. Disney slash kids programs humanizing animals and such. I don't think it's natural for a human to feel affectionate towards dogs, and I believe that it is taught. I always wonder whether I would be an asshole for teaching my future children to avoid dogs and that they are unfriendly. I don't care for dogs, and I definitely don't ever want to own one. In fact, I think it's neglect to have any animals whilst you have an infant in the home. God, there's the the amount of fucking losers in the world is so impressive. It's just so impressive to be such a fucking worthless loser like that. I just I can't believe it. And and they're all on Reddit. Here's another one. Dogs in unnecessary places online. Hi, all. I'm a longtime lurker. uh, Yada, yada. I work in IT and there's a lot of downtime during the pandemic where I work since I'm uh, working from home. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know what? Actually, that looks like a boring one. (laughs) <laughs> I did it. I left him because of his dog. We've been together for almost a oh year. He had the dog before we met, and I hated the beast for multiple reasons. Other than that, we were perfect for each other, and we never argued. He re- he knew I didn't like the dog, so he told me a couple of times that he would not hesitate to get rid of it if it meant he could keep me. So, Ugh. he's an asshole. He's a piece of... Look, if you dump your fucking pet because of a new girl you're dating, you're an asshole. You're a Agreed. piece of shit. And by the way, you shouldn't t- take that as a compliment if you're the person, you know, who made him dump the pet. Like, clearly he has no loyalties. He's going to dump you just as fast if it benefits him. Yeah, he's going to dump you for a new dog. It is, it, like, this is the same argument why you should never date a cheater. Like, even if she's, if you, you're the one that she's cheating with, like, she's yeah, going to cheat on you too, dummy. If she'll, uh, what is it? If she'll cheat for you, she'll cheat on you, I think is the expression. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If she'll cheat with you, um, she'll cheat on you. That's yeah. the one, yeah. yeah. Yep. 
So she'll cheat, she'll cheat. It continues. But I didn't want to be the reason he got rid of the dog because I knew that one day he would blame me for it. So I left him. And boy, did I hope there was another way. I read about it, talked about it a hundred times with my friends, and every time I came to the conclusion that leaving him was the best solution for him and me. It freaking hurts. I cry every single day, and I still believe he was the love of my life, but I think I made the right decision. I'm paying a guy because he has a dog. I'm so I'm so miserable and upset, and my life is literally nothing but worse. But I think I made the right decision. <laughs> Jesus, I think she did too. <laughs> what a well, moron. obviously she did. Obviously I'm miserable she did. She's and unhappy. Over a fucking dog, and I'm lonely, and everything about this is wrong, and nothing good has come from it. But I made the right decision. Yeah, people say that after every breakup. I know Give she's trying to justify so. it. What a fucking idiot. He was my soulmate. Um, um, even as a child, well, I, well, hang on. He might have been her soulmate if he was wearing me undies. Do you guys agree? Agree. Oh, yes. oh yeah, definitely. Yes. yes. It doesn't matter if you're listening out there and you have a dog or a cat or you dislike dogs or you dislike anything. It doesn't. It doesn't matter because we can all universally come together in a giant, worldwide spanning handshake and say we love me undies because we oh, love yes, me undies. Yeah. Me undies is doing a lot of things for love. They're giving that love back. By making extra cheesy pairs of underwear for Valentine's Day. It's okay. No. You can buy it. They have a V-Day collection of undies, loungewear, and more so that you and your Valentine can match through all of this coming romance season stuff. Show that special someone how much you care and say the three words they want to hear. Match my undies. <laughs> and if you're single, no problem. You can show yourself love and feel amazing that you love yourself and you should love yourself. And if you out there maybe have a little bit low self-esteem, maybe you wake up and go, gosh, I just I don't feel very good. Oh, I I'm not very attractive. Oh, I should lose some weight. I don't care because you can put on a pair of undies and look in the mirror and you will instantly gain 400 points in attractiveness. That's mm -hmm. how they work. That is how good this underwear is. And if you're somehow, I don't know, maybe an agoraphobic you got a little problem here with uh, buying stuff and going, well, what if uh, what if I don't like it? What if I change my mind? You will get free returns, no questions asked, no caveats if you don't like their underwear. Now, you might think that that's a great deal already. Oh, I can just return it if I don't like it. Let me go buy some. Well, hang on, Skippy. Slow down. You can also get 15% off and free shipping at MeUndies.com slash official. That's MeUndies.com slash official for 15% off. Recently, my girlfriend also signed up on there. She chose the uh, surprise me option for the patterns and colors. Just they send you like random stuff. She got two random pairs. One of them was black. One of them was green. I think she loves it. So even if you're a woman. Was she surprised? She was. She was very surprised. Nice. She went, I didn't know they had green. I went, yeah, they do. So mm -hmm. even if you even if you're not like us being strong men, even if you happen to be a woman, you can get some nice underwear there, too. Dude. Yeah. Imagine being a dude and you have a cute pet and me on these. I would, <gasps> you know, I'd ride that dick. No woman, no woman would ever be able to leave you. Yeah, exactly. Guaranteed. What you should do is put dogs on your underwear. So that way you can show that you love dogs and you're not a fucking idiot. And that's yeah. also <laughs> the same kind of person that we get 15% off by going to meundies.com slash official with free shipping. We all love me undies. We all They're legitimately so do love me undies. I still wear those polar bear ones They're every comfy. now and then. They are very comfy. Say it, Charlie. They're very, I mean, it's literally all I wear. Yeah. I've seen them. They're the reason I we, have uh, um, Sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was going to bring up, I'll just do it because it's part of the ad read. A lot of people give us a bunch of shit. They're like, oh, the guy's... They don't even participate in the ads. They're just spewing bullshit. Charlie and I, when we did that movie, we changed into our costumes, and I saw that man wears me undies. It's That's, real. That is all my underwear man. wardrobe. Yeah, the guy. Uh, they're the reason I have to turn off my webcam when I get off. Uh, when I get up to like go pee and such, because I am always in my underwear. They're cozy. I never need anything else. I don't want anything else. I love them. Yeah, they're great. All right, we continue with the dog head, you boys. <laughs> So somebody says, even the word dog is infuriating. 
So I hope uh, they listen to this. Anyone else feel how this way? So deep, how, fucking, <laughs> how fucking stupid do you have to be to get triggered over the word dog? What the, what, do you not have anything words. in your life? Do you not have anything going on in your life where you fucking no, log into Reddit each day to make a fucking thread about fucking how you hate don't. the word dog? Yeah. It's no, so that's sad. why they're on Reddit. It's not sad. It's Fuck those people. Fuck them. Uh, no, it's still sad. To have that what a much waste hate. of a life. To have it's that pathetic. much hate. Mm. It's, it's not sad. It well, makes that's, me mad. Well, that's what social media is for the social media is just a window to vent your hate on whatever you have it on at the moment. Hang on, guys. But it, over the word dog, it gets better. Jackson, like, like, let him explain ugh. why. If fine, I hear some dog fine, nutter so much as say the word dog, or even if I say it in my head in my mind's ear, it makes me want to put my fucking head through the wall. Not only do these creatures look disgusting, act disgusting, smell disgusting, and sound disgusting, but even the word for them is just as disgusting as the animals themselves. I legitimately believe that our ancestors saw them as a necessary evil to do dumb muscle <laughs> manual labor and had the common sense to realize how opportunistic and gross they are, so these folks came up with the most horrendous sounding word possible. Possible. God, what a <laughs> oh, idiot. Jesus Christ. What a complete um, fucking misunderstanding of the th relationship of dog and man. Jesus fucking Christ. They're so now, mad. Now, Kyle, what's funny, though, have you check out the cat free subreddit? Because it, it has a very opposite tone. A lot of it is just like, yeah, I on. love dogs and animals, but cats are annoying. Fuck them. OK, <laughs> like, I'll, I'll, I don't different. have any of those screenshots. I'll read my last doc screenshot and then you can grace us with some uh, cat hate. Sure. Uh, so this is so Jackson, you know, th that guy hated the word dog. But what? how do you feel about the term man's best friend? Now, even as a child, I couldn't stand the term man's best friend. I've been uncomfortable around dogs since childhood. I've always had this intuitive feeling that I was in danger being around a dog. Whenever there was any kind of dog around me, I felt incredibly uneasy. What a bitch. The smell was intolerable. The panting, the constant jerky movements. This too was before I had been charged at several times. Even knocked down once when I was eight years <gasps> old. No! Oh, oh no! Hate crimed. No! You got hate crimed by uh, a doggy. Ugh. This too, you know, the sad part is that the dog probably just wanted to play. Yeah, fucking um, move on. Jesus Christ. Yeah. This, Sticking to eight year old trauma. Jesus. <laughs> this too. Yeah, you, you didn't get you didn't get mouth pumped by a priest. Like, get over it. It was just a puppy. Um, this too was before I had been charged. That's oh, sorry. Um, I grew up in the late 90s, which unfortunately was the peak of for pro dog garbage like air butt and all dogs go to heaven <laughs> i remember looking forward to the movie nights held in my elementary school gymnasium and sometimes they would pay these propaganda films and i would go along for the sake of spending time with my friends but i remember feeling so irritated because i, I already did not like dogs i couldn't stand seeing the amount of worship and celebration they received when to me they were filthy dangerous and obnoxious it was through Christ, these films the that fuck? i first heard the man's best friend term and I just remember feeling the sense of being an outsider, a freak. Yes, which yeah, because you are. Yes, one hundred percent. You are absolutely because I yep. because I didn't like like dogs when they were being so highly regarded by society. I thought that there had to be something wrong with me. Yes. Oh yeah, and the yes. mm -hmm. and the inherent misogyny of using the term man. Oh my fucking and not God. human. Even worse, I loathed the fact that this phrase was encouraging people to get more dogs and that i would have to encounter more more dogs it's truly the tyranny of the majority <laughs> good god i i understand i understand people avoiding dogs for whatever reason maybe they were attacked and they have trauma yeah. maybe they okay. don't like dog hair maybe they're allergic maybe maybe they just find them annoying at the time it's when they make it their that's, whole fucking yeah, personality that's all identity. totally fine but if you're a dumb human being who's so goddamn stuck up his own ass you don't realize that people like dogs for many many reasons and the bond that they've had with them is literally thousands and thousands of years old it's like how stupid yeah. can you be and what the you fuck? log into Reddit to make fucking thread after thread about how you're so special and unique. I know. Like, there's there's such melodramatic, vile retards. Like, just. <laughs> All right, hit us with some uh, cat hate, Andrew. So, cat yeah, hate, the, which cat I find going. cat hate oh. really, really funny because cat hate is like the opposite spectrum. So, people on the dog subreddit, on the dog subreddit, they're like, oh god, these vile, disgusting beasts. How dare they roam the same earth as us? I fucking despise them. The cat hate subreddit is mostly, haha, cats scratch you. That's annoying. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like when cats like <laughs> knock over my furniture, my uh, jar. 
on the well, counter. I mean, they're jerks. <laughs> but, well, yeah, they are. They are really, jerks. really struggling to find reasons to hate cats beyond just, yep, they're jerks. Everyone knows that. <laughs> there's well. a, there's one of their top voted posts of all time. Is It's a picture of 10 different cats and it goes, here's all the cat breeds and they're all labeled asshole. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> wow, you really got them. <laughs> Take that, it's true, cats. idiots. <laughs> okay, you know what? I like that subreddit now. It speaks yeah. to me. They are assholes. It's, it's they're just assholes self, that we love. It's just self, self. What's the term where you make fun of yourself? Self, de self, self deprecating humor for cat owners. That's all it is. Depreciation. Yeah, that's it. One of one of their like hardest hitting ones is so specific. It's it's one of those memes where it's like pills that are hard to swallow, and it just says your cat just killed an endangered bird before it returned home. <laughs> <laughs> well, got him! Take that, cat owners! You, you fucked up for having this pet, you <laughs> goddamn moron! <laughs> it's such a different fucking culture. Oh. Uh. It's uh, because even even people who love cats like admit that they're yeah, fucking assholes. They're they dickheads. Are. They're selfish. That's their nature. Cats were bred to be loners and take care of themselves. Oh, uh, not my cats. Oh, this is the oh. funniest shit. Australian <laughs> feral cats on the hunt. This is literally just a fucking a topographical map of how many feral cats are in Australia. That's yeah, it. I don't like reading about shit like that. That's it. That's the whole post. That's the best argument they have against cats. Oh no, there's a lot of them. Shit, I, there I is a lot joking, of cats. So, <laughs> God, there's this one. All right, all right. Oh God. So th this is the original post. Meanwhile, my cat is an outdoor cat. He goes outside and stays out for most of the day. Most of the time, he only comes back once or twice a day to eat, and that's it. That being said, when he <laughs> sleeps at home, you lie next to him and give him as much attention as you want. My cat personally doesn't ask for attention unless it's for food, but it depends on how he was looked at after and trained. So the cat hates subreddit. The title for this is, No, dude, this isn't your cat. It's a stray that visits you regularly for food, and that's all it wants from you. It's like, yeah, that's how some cats are. <laughs> What are you I'm hating okay on? What is this subreddit? <laughs> That's what cats do. They just explore. They don't care. <laughs> Why are you so mad? <laughs> it's so funny. I'm having a great time on this subreddit. You can stay depressed on the dog one, Kaya. I'm going to stay on the cat one because this is brightening my day. This is great. No, I'm, I'm not going to keep reading this. It's just depressing me. Uh, just thinking about the state of humanity. The absolute state of humanity. You're hating on puppies, really? Is that, that's what we're doing now? Holy it's shit! So I bet unique. Fucking Kim Jong Un doesn't have his own subreddit where they just hate on him, like, but fucking dogs do. Are you for real? You losers. <laughs> it is impressive. Reddit is just a nice cesspool full of the most deranged losers. There's a subreddit for every dumb fucking belief. It just What's attracts most hated so many subreddit? people. It's Charlie. it's bound to happen by my numbers. most hated subreddit. Yeah, like what what subreddit mm -hmm. do you know of that you find the most pathetic and Reddit like? Fuck, <laughs> so many come to mind. <laughs> just, like I can't even think of like a good one off the top of my head, except for something like Kickstarter shitters or a uh, shitty Kickstarters, whatever it was. I didn't remember if it was Kickstarter shitters or shitty Kickstarters, but. Why is that one bad? No, that one's good. That's like the when I think oh, of a good oh. subreddit, that's the one that comes to mind. I uh, okay. Yeah, any of the other guys? Uh, I can't think Jackson of any. Andrew, got a got they, a favorite subreddit no, you I hate? Just, I, I, I don't oh, frequent. Hate. Oh, I don't frequent subreddits. So I just scroll front page. I thought we were going through ones that we like. Yeah, the only subreddits I ever subscribe to and read are the like daily facts ones. Like today, I learned and shit. Just the little educational ones. That's literally all I use Reddit for. Oh, I, I do I do get increasingly frustrated over R slash like relationships oh, and relationship yeah. advice when every oh, single yeah. thread is just break up yeah. with him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like my boyfriend leaves uh, the milk out on the on the <laughs> counter sometimes and the top comment is like break up with him, he's abusive. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> what happened to communication?
<laughs> and it's always like the moderators chiming in. Like, oh yeah, break up with him. Yeah. Fuck man. Fuck. He's such a misogynist piece of shit. This is a patriarchy. I'm, and then you look at the person's profile. She's like 600 pounds. You go, as, oh no as wonder. As the moderator of this subreddit, I'm locking this thread because there were people coming in here realizing that they shouldn't break up with them. And that's just not right. Yeah. yeah. Even though the whole point of this subreddit is discussion and talking about the issue, <laughs> if you don't think they should break up, you're wrong and not allowed to speak. It's always a classic. <laughs> Anything on Reddit where you're asking questions and relying on Redditors to answer them or give you advice is an absolute Why? shit show. Yeah, advice Why would you go to Reddit for advice? Reddit, Reddit is Jesus. decent for quick questions where it's like, hey, I Googled this and couldn't find it. How do I do it? Like sometimes you'll get people going, oh, it's just this. But if you ever want advice, never go to Reddit. It's the fucking worst. It's the worst. What I also hate is that it populates the search results when you're trying to actually find the answer to something, Andrew. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. you know that feeling when you when you're looking up something very obscure, like you're maybe trying to get a ROM for an old emulator to run or something, and you Google it, and the first result is a like twenty year old forum post with the solution, and you're like, yes, ah. MVP right here. He saw he saved my fucking day uh, twenty years ago, but. The top results are oftentimes Reddit, and then you click on it hoping for a solution to whatever pro obscure problem you have. 99% of the posts have been removed. Just removed, and those fucking brackets, either banned or the user doesn't exist anymore or moderator banned them or some shit. It's so... God damn it, fucking Reddit. <laughs> that, did, that does remind me of one of my pet hates of just the internet in general is whenever I would look up like technical like technical advice for a computer problem I was having or a software problem like with Premiere Pro I would always find fucking posts from people asking the same question and then like they comment eventually saying all right I, don't worry guys I fixed it and that, that's and it we, that's the end of the yeah, fucking we, chain without yeah. the solution right I know <laughs> that feeling how. you tell fucking how. asshole <laughs> you self the solution gripe. God, I fucking hated that yeah. shit. It, oh. It's like, oh, this guy has the exact obscure error code that I got. I'll fix it. Don't worry. What? How? <laughs> yeah, what yeah. <laughs> that Please, was always frustrating. You know, you know what kills me more, though? It's very related. The one that drives me insane. It's where you go to a thread and let's say you're trying to do something on your phone. And it's like, oh, I keep opening the settings menu and it crashes. Well, let me restart it. No, that's not fixing it. Let me relaunch this. No, let me check for updates. No. All right. Let me go to the thread. Type in, okay, this is crashing. It's not working. And then you scroll down and it says top solution. One voted by users. Best pick. They go restart the phone and update the app. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> thanks. Good. Yeah. Fuck. I, I kind of feel not ambivalent, but I, I kind of see why that is oftentimes the top response or the well, first thing. People. Like when... You're right. So they, you know, because when you call tech support or something, you have a problem. The first thing That's they the tell you, oh, did you try yeah. restarting the router? Did you unplug it and plug it back in? Because ninety nine percent of the callers, they are, don't. You know, yeah. uh, people like my mom who but, doesn't even know what a router is. And but that you is would think if you get solution. that deep into the googling, they would start providing alternative solutions rather than that. You know. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think if you have the te like the technical uh, here with all to be able to post on a on a forum, I think you've probably you know done the basics. Was, so, I mean, somebody posted it in our chat the, the link to a website. So shout out to Stack Overflow. If you have a tech problem, they are the MVP in that business. They always have a solution. Mm -hmm. That's a good fucking site. I agree. I don't know the topic, but I forgot. Jesus. Um, how much time okay. do we have left? Uh, okay, we we one soon. more. The dog's got to go out, so let's get like one more topic and yeah. wrap. Tetris yeah. giving me like a thousand mile stare right now, wondering why I haven't let her out yet. <laughs> why do you have a dog, dude? Like even the word yeah, is repulsive. Oh, oh, yeah. If any of those people are <laughs> listening and watching, they just had a fucking heart attack. She's <laughs> still here looking at the camera. She's no, they're still here. They're Aww. rationalizing it. They're like, maybe Tetris is cousin from out of town. Ha ha ha. Take take a who photo of her and put it on that <laughs> sub. To be taken yeah, she ship. she needs to be shown where the bathroom is. She's foreign. That's it. Uh -huh. Man, she is like a <laughs> looming presence right now. <laughs> Look at the soulless little bitch. I hate her so much. I'd break up with my girlfriend if it got rid of it. <laughs> Dorks. Uh, any of you guys got a topic? Yeah, Andrew, Charlie. Yeah. Fight about Hitman. 
Oh yeah, Charlie I think it was oh, very We talked a little bit about it. Yeah, I thought it was very Where? disappointing. When? Okay, it's let it's me, definitely it. more of the same. It's I don't know. I guess because well, yeah. I liked two so much, I kind of was fine with three being a lot more of the same. But it, I I liked it. I, I I don't really understand that complaint since Hitman Two itself was just a continuation of the Hitman Twenty Sixteen. Yeah, like they uh, added a few new tools and yeah, such, but, the, but they didn't the, even do that. Here. They're basically just yeah. So one they're basically of the, just expansion. Packs. One of the it's big thing they did with two from one is they overhauled the UI and added a lot of quality of life fixes and made the game just smoother and easier to play. I but the only I, thing I like that's um. Sorry, to add to your point just real quick, I, I like that you can play the first Hitman in the second one's engine. That's yeah. a nice thing. Yeah, well, you, can also, you, can you can play, also play, you can play the play first and three. second in the third game. Yeah, yeah. You can oh, play okay. all three. So, it's super smooth on consoles. So anyway, the, um, the thing they did between one and two is a lot of quality of life fixes and a lot of like smoothing out the game and making things easier to do and presentation-wise, but admittedly in three as far as i can tell the only thing they changed was they added a camera mechanic that for is certain things. quite literally the only thing they did there was no graphical yeah. updates or overhauls or anything at all not even the slightest tweak to anything in the game it is too carbon copied with just the yeah. camera not not, uh, not accurate there was new graphical features there was not there was, uh, i watched the comparison uh, yeah there was there was there was new lighting methods like yeah uh, but who honestly really sub cares subsurface you know? scattering uh, but apart from that, but yeah, they didn't yeah. put those little subsurface. It was, it was two years, and again, it's, it's still in the same engine. It still looks good. I don't. I don't get the complaint that like it needs to graphically change itself. I. I mean, for way, two years, you would expect them to add like maybe a couple more gadgets or maybe some new mechanics to use in their new well, maps. That's like, not, that's I not, agree. I wasn't. I totally I was talking about agree. Graphics. I, uh, the way that I reviewed the game is, if you like Hitman and just basically wanted a big DLC pack, then this is perfect. But if you're expecting I, I, like yeah, a big new of, game, eh, not really. Is it DLC more of a good price? thing is still a good thing. Yeah, but no. you could say the same thing about sports games. Like, oh, the FIFA 12 was so good. I'm glad we've gotten eight more of those. Uh, but that's that's literally the same. This game. always this, Jackson. The only change no, is no, no, this. It's different maps. It's the same. With, different with maps FIFA, it's add. the exact same game with updated yeah. rosters. At least with Hitman, there's entirely new maps. This and is the exact same stories. game with updated it, maps. It's the same right, thing. but the maps yeah, are literally the, the entire game. Yeah, that's what makes the game different. Yeah. So does the roster in a sports game. No. That yeah, no, that makes the, that all. makes the teams different. Not at yes. all. Not at all. It no. does. It's it's the same if you named if you named every single person in a basketball game generic man and you put them in 20 and 2021, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the games. But if I took generic man and dropped him in a hitman map, I could tell you what game it's from. And you could do different things in between those. Well, what can you games. do differently in Hitman 3 you couldn't do in 2? Well, mechanics-wise, like I said, they didn't really change anything, just the camera. But as it's for the, the maps, they're all completely the new and different. You're making you Charlie's point, objectives. I think. I don't know. I, I no. never got into the... I, I tried to play 2 on the PlayStation. And it's it's very fun, but it gets... It's also very repetitive, man. You like you sneak up on a guy, kill him or knock him out, take his clothing, enough, sneak up, take clothing, sneak up, take clothing, sneak up, take clothing, repeat well, until that's, infinity. That's just how you're playing it. The the whole point of yeah, Hitman is there's like a thousand plan. ways to do it. You could do suit only, which means mm -hmm. you're not allowed to take only, and there's achievements in the game for that. You could do oh. true stealth, which means you're not even allowed to be seen. You could do like By, there's a bunch of ways to do it. I was playing the Mumbai level uh, last night, trying to like. Uh, finish up a speed run route and basically what it equated to was um, I poisoned a tea at the start of the map that the guy then drinks like two minutes later like he just goes on a route and drinks tea so that poisoned him and then the two other targets I made them meet up underneath a like a boat that was hanging on top of a building and I just shot that out and it collapsed on top of them yeah and I, I did that all from like the starting area. The whole and there's just so many different ways to tackle it. Hitman cool. is a sandbox stealth game. They give yeah. you a target and they say, "Okay, go kill them," and you can do whatever the fuck you want. And I wish that they would actually make new things in the game instead of keeping it the same for the last ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Hitman 2016 only came out four years ago. It's an exaggeration. This, uh, I just wish they would at least try and make <laughs> things better. Like well, change things, on, they, also, things. they also made three full games in four years. Yeah, uh, two years is not really that long yeah. for game development. Two years time. is a pretty long time for most games. What do you mean? Not no, anymore. That's like, 
No. For franchises, that's normal development time. Look at how much things change between the Assassin's Creed what? games. Yeah. That's like a yearly release. That's, that's two a, different development studios. No, but studios, that's different though. studios. Yeah. They're working on those for more than two years. Yeah. Same thing with Call of Duty. You Just, could argue Call of Duty's a yearly release, but there's yeah, three there's different, like studios different studios working studios. on the game. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Hitman's Most games uh, have like a three to four. Yeah. For the game the developer, well, I, not, the CEO of the company is Turkish. I don't know that. So I'm I'm not at all saying that it's like excusable completely. I will openly admit they should have added more gameplay, and it is more of the same. But at the same time, I think the maps they constructed and the stories are really good and I actually, interesting. I think I think I mean I'm I, I'm not super far into Hitman Three since I've been replaying the first two, but the uh, Dartmoor level I thought that was creative and different. They tried something. Different is that the there. murder mystery one? Yeah, yeah, I love that one because yeah. it's completely optional. You can go in the mansion and you can become the detective and do a literal, completely optional murder mystery, or you can just sneak around and shoot the woman in the head and leave. You don't even have yeah. to do it. Plus, the, the comedy aspect of the game is so great. I love hit I like Agent Forty Seven's quips to things as well, yeah. and, and and just the situations you can put him in. Yeah, I really like the game. I I will admit, I will admit, I am biased on the game because I just really really love the core gameplay. I think an open world stealth assassin and game is fucking hilarious and always fun to play but i yeah. i'm not gonna defend it too hard because i admit charlie's got like i agree with a lot of charlie's points basically fair enough yeah. all right all righty let's wrap all right thanks everyone for listening to this week's episode patreon.com slash the official podcast if you want bonuses i'm uploading two new bonus episodes right now mm. a double feature going up today Whoa. um that's crazy yeah, Jackson. As soon as, as soon as someone sends it to me it, it would really help us if you leave us a nice review on Apple iTunes and such. L leave like a five-star review talking about how much you love your pets. Hmm. Or nice. how we're the patron saint of podcasts. Ooh. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next Thank week. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.